Good evening. Heads of department at Stafford Hospital have attacked administrators at a public meeting tonight, claiming they haven't been consulted about proposed changes. More than 1,200 people packed into the Staffordshire County showground to vent their anger over proposals to downgrade services, including children's and maternity. Well, our health correspondent, Michaeli Paduano, joins us now from outside Stafford Hospital. Michaeli, it sounds like it was a pretty lively meeting tonight. It was very lively. It's been a long time since I've been to a meeting like that where a lot of very well-intentioned people wanted to have their views heard. And certainly if the administrators wanted to consult, they got what they wanted. They came in their hundreds to air their grievances. There wasn't enough room. Many had to view it from outside. We want it! We want it! They are being denied access to the very meeting itself. They are being told to go to a marquee over the way Inside the meeting, it was more hostile. We've sat for 20 minutes and listened to your video, so you can answer one question. Earlier, we had spoken to Louise Nixon, whose eldest child, Jessica, had almost died at birth, and whose second child was born after 20 minutes' labour. If we had been trying to go up to the hospital in Stoke, we would have had to have done it by a tree somewhere up the A34. Sorry. But it was the hospital's heads of department who were furious. First, critical care. We are very clear that destination to hospital accident will take lives. Then, children's services who said the facts were wrong. And I think we are in agreement that a lot of the facts that you have based your proposal on are not accurate. Finally, maternity. How can you do that? And Stafford Maternity Hospital on Reddish Lund clinically surpassed any of the local counterparts. The administrators said that Stafford Hospital's children's and maternity services would not be safe long term because they've struggled to recruit staff. But no one wanted to listen. Well, Michele, it was clearly a very heated meeting. What else did the trust administrators have to say in response? Well, they tried very hard. It was actually very difficult for them to get a word in edgeways, but uh, they were trying to say that the Trust has a £20 million deficit and that going forward that is only going to get worse. And it's really got a problem with image. It's very difficult to attract good staff to the hospital because of its bad history, irrespective of the fact that the hospital is now in a good place and performing well. And they also wanted to say that going forward, bigger hospitals were able to provide better care than smaller hospitals. But it was interesting that a number of departments said that they hadn't been consulted. Maternity said that they actually had a situation whereby they were providing better care than other services, but that was going to be downgraded in some ways. And one of the key points was critical care, where they said that 20 patients actually could die with asthma travelling up the motorway, which is of extreme concern. But also they were worried that they hadn't actually spoken to the administrators. The administrators said that they were going to actually remedy that in the very near future. Michele Paduano, thank you.